How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video guys We're gonna be finishing up the engine work on the Corvette C1. This is like a 59 ish Mustang. I mean this production was from 53 to 62 I believe um, So don't get me wrong. I could be very very wrong here um, but I do believe it's roughly a 59 era. So if you guys can see the last video, I'd say, or I'd go recommend going and checking that one out because in that one, we do all the base work. We redo the entire body, pick the interior, um, paint it. There's just a lot of stuff done in that video. This has, this, this mod here has a ton of parts to it. Um, but in today's video, we're going to be pulling out the engine. We're going to be trying to put in a newer motor, I think is what we were going to go with. Something to fit the Texas Speed uh, engine cover. So I don't think we're going to do... Well, let me see what I got here. Okay, well... Alright, so I know my list now. It, they're mostly overhead valve parts, which is not ideal for the Texas thing. But uh, Texas Speed uh, engine cover, but we'll figure it out. All right, so first up, let me get this up here. Um, between last video and this video, guys, I also finished the entire suspension here. Voila. It's uh, not done too much, but it did increase the price a wee bit. Oh, wait. Oh, I still got to move gearbox. Okay. I was going to say, I don't have to raise the car up. Um, let me click on the engine bay really quick. Is even any way I need to drop the uh, drop the front radiator out of there there we go we pop all this stuff out it always makes getting the engine out a little bit easier okay engines gone let me drop the battery on the charger here revive that bad boy so we could just throw the V8 car back on there. We can't throw a Hemi shaker on. Um, so it's everything V8 overhead valve pretty much will work. Um, I wonder if this... Let me see if the double carb would work in here. I'm pretty sure the double carb will work. Yeah. So I could do a double carb. Or I could do a double carb V8 overhead supercharge. Let me find that one. So there's the double car. Here's a double car supercharged right here. That would not fit very well with our current engine cover, but I think, or our hood actually, I think about it, but I could switch it around. Um, I think, you know, I think we're just gonna, we'll just go with this. We'll just go with double carb. Honestly, it should be pretty easy to do. Um, it's pretty much the exact same thing as the original, but we're just adding another carburetor to there and we can mod it to make it a wee bit faster. Also, that hood just looks... That hood looks like a completely different color when it's up in the air. Whoa, that's weird. Okay. Alright, anyways. Let's get cracking away on this. I'm not sure what parts I have. Okay, I was going to say, I don't think I have really too many parts to be able to fit this. Um, but let me just go into the V overhead valve here. And we're just going to kind of walk through here together. Slowly seeing what I'm going to need. Uh, cam gear... We're going to need one of those. We'll have to buy the upgraded cam in a minute. Uh, we'll buy the normal crankshaft and pulley. This is a supercharged one, so I actually might have to switch the pulley um, around here. Uh, normal overhead V8. We'll be able to grab a upgraded V8 head. We'll be able to grab upgraded V8 manifolds. Um, I think we can switch out our head covers, though. Hopefully those are the correct ones. All the drop pipes will be able to switch. Mm. Just look for stuff that we're going to be needing that's not going to be modded. So there's a surprising amount of stuff in here that we can do modded with. Alright, here we go. Now something I got to look for. Rocker arms. They don't have individuals in here. Separate belts. Right there. Grab our supercharger. Got a chain. I feel like I missed belt A up here. Yep, there it is. Alright. Alright, got a lot now, actually. Timing cover. We got that. Uh, we'll have to grab a different push rod. Um, and then we'll need this. Alright, that was uh, a lot easier than I thought. We got quite a bit of things. 
Water pump pulley. What else? What else? Okay, now we can start going to the base of the engine. We'll get the pistons. Go in here to our tuning shop and get some tuned stuff. Pistons with con rods. Um, VA overhead valve. Grab the single camshaft we're going to need. Grab the two engine heads we're going to need. Pick up our manifolds. Need those bad boys. And then I don't actually, now I remember the supercharger intake is not in here, is it? Okay, you'll have to go pick up the supercharger intake at the normal shop. Uh, super. See, so yeah, I just had to pick up this. I already got the supercharge. Actually, no, I already had the intake. Ah, what am I doing? I'm messing up here. We need that, though. We do need that. Okay, and then we'll grab our rod caps. And then we need our bearing caps. Three of those. All right. We should be able to uh, put a very large portion of this motor together without having to go back into the shop for a minute here. All right, let's keep in mind, guys, I am going to be doing performance parts where necessary and or where I can. Because um, we do want this old C1 to be ripping pretty hard. I'm probably going to be pushing upper fives, 500, I think, is what I... I don't remember what the stock... Uh, the stock portion of this motor makes I think it was 330 or 350 ish all right get all of our pistons in slide the rod caps in this process right here is so much more simpler than actually having to do this in real real life you don't got to compress the piston rings you don't got to do anything you just put them in place call them good no measuring clearances or anything Alright, there's an oil pan done quickly. Two, three, four. Make sure I got this correct camshaft. I did. Rotate you over. I can slap on each individual head here. Then I'll probably have to go grab our uh, rocker arms because I did forget those. Nope. There we go. Gotta have the performance one. These heads alone add like 10 horsepower or 10% increase in horsepower, which, uh, as you start increasing more horsepower, uh, it starts to build up quite the uh, quite the power. All right, drain shaft pulley. The water pump on. Then we'll need the supercharger water pump pulley, which I did manage to go back and buy. Oh wait, or. No, I forgot. I'm stupid. This is not supercharged. I've been saying supercharged the whole time. Oh, gosh. You guys are probably freaking out at me. Oh, my bad, guys. My bad. I've been I've been saying supercharged the whole time, but I'm not doing supercharged. Well, it's a good thing I got all my normal belts and pulleys like I was meaning to. Jeez. What am I doing? What am I doing? All right, let's grab all the fuel stuff. Pump, filter, grab our ignition, coil, distributor, cap, rotor. And then go back to here, snag some clips. Uh, this will be clip B, two of those. Then we're also going to need a rocker arms. We need 16 valve shrouds right here. 20 go down to 16 we have the covers all right we should be good i still need to get uh the carbs but i don't know what carburetor we will be taken oh i forgot that part too <laughs> alternator Uh, there we go. I feel like I can, I can get a performance intake for this, actually. For a double carb intake. Yeah, I definitely can. For some reason, the supercharger one is just pretty normal, but then you can do one for that pretty easily. Mm-hmm. 
Radiator fan. Alright, the whole front timing and system, everything good to go, buttoned up. She is ready to rock and roll. Oh, actually, that rotor's not ready. But after the rotor's ready, then it will be. There we go. If I just position the camera correctly. Oh, jeez. There we go. Now I can fly through here. Oh man, this part does take forever. Alright, throw our cover on. Rotor. Oh, we got a couple caps. I need to make sure I use those before I keep buying them. And then, do we have separate carvers here? Just two double four barrel carbs? Okay. Also, I need spark plugs still, and we're going to need some wires. Alright, now I can get our rocker arms. Alright, so all I need left is um, ignition wires, uh, spark coils, or spark plugs, geez, spark plugs, uh, two four barrel carbs. Um, clutch pieces, flywheel, and then I think a filter, and then the top cover for the carburetor. Oh, there's an alarm going off. Sorry about that. And, yeah, then we should be good. Okay. Let's go pick all that stuff up real quick, if I can I remember that laundry list. Um, oh, jeez. I am losing it. Let me get the wires. I know what the wire looks like right here. Just the V8 wires will do. Ooh, wait. Clutch. Pressure plate. Plate. Get the flywheel. Should be good on everything else, I think. Oh, wait. No. Uh, four barrel. Two of those bad boys. And then I think if I just type in carb, it'll pop up. I look for the yeah there we go round air filter two carb go back to here here click on this find the two carb air filter it's got to be in here right yeah there it is all right i think i got most of the stuff purchased that was a big old laundry list but i think i did it man these carburetors i will say in this game look pretty incredible there's some of the other ones like the uh, the more advanced ones for I think like the Porsches and stuff like that that have performance filters or performance uh, carbs that they are pretty crazy and intricate like like almost 100% real it looks like it's it's pretty crazy I right, throw on wires now we got spark get our flywheel oh wait a second get that clutch plate off of there And get some power put down to them wheels. We'll rip this out in the uh, the airport uh, field too, just to see how it really handles. Take you off, install, double carb. There you back. Wow, I am. I think it was like what ten minutes to build an entire motor from uh, from scratch. Oh wait, I need to go here. Not too shabby, if you ask me. Not too, uh, not too shabby at all. What do I need for the radiator? Radiator C, battery. All right, engine bay is good. We are, we are rocking and rolling. Let's see, tuning shot. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, custom gearbox. Then we need the overhead valve gearbox because this needs to be pushing more power than that original gearbox. Than that 59 gearbox can take. There we go. Throw this one in there. That should hold the power. I have so many gearboxes. 
Need to sell them. I still got six mil though, so we're doing pretty good. Alright, drive shafts hooked up. Starters hooked up. Looks like this thing doesn't actually have any exhaust pieces, which is okay. Some of some of these mods usually don't have exhaust pieces just because they use like one of the body pieces as like the quote quote exhaust. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here in a second. Um, it looks cleaner usually, a little bit easier. All right, and now that I think the motor is almost ready to go, we'll start popping the wheels and tires back on. I had them off because I was working on the uh, suspension, so we'll throw them back on real quick. I think after these, though, we might be at exactly 100%. All I gotta do is toss some oil in the engine here, and uh, she's off to the races. 100, 195 on the body condition still. What is it? Oh, the engine cover. Oh, yeah, and I was gonna switch the engine cover too. I can't forget that. Um, let's actually move this to entrance A. It's a little bit faster. Uh, we'll plug, and then we'll change the oil cover. We'll probably just go with the stock cover now, now that I'm not going to be doing anything crazy. The Texas Speed cover is pretty cool, though. Um, yeah, so this is the stock on here. See? It just funnels the radiator cooler or cool air into the... Uh, into the radiator. I mean, it's 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 much more era specific and probably better. But uh, it looks like we're actually making. Two, oh yeah, the numbers flipped. 282 horsepower stock on this little guy here, but we have this thing tuned up to the max. So let's throw it to the dyno and see how it does. Actually, I need to check what the price on it is too, because it definitely was uh, increased. Okay, so a new motor basically added. $30,000 in extra value to this plus a $17,000 restoration bonus. We'll take those numbers all day. Okay. See what we can do. It's not it's not that crazy, but it's still pretty good. I'm guessing 400. Oh my gosh. 520 actually ended up happening. So if you guys remember, my, I think my original guess was 535 or something like that. Um pretty close to that 282 horsepower to 500 some that just shows you what you can really do with like the older um overhead valve like carbureted engines like you can pull a lot of power out of them especially in this game i'll say that uh move this back over to the entrance we'll see how it handles on uh on the airport tarmac real quick we'll run it out there see if we can do a quick quick donuts um i'm just gonna leave the i'm thinking about it here uh, I'm probably just yeah. I'll just I'll leave that. I'm gonna. Leave, I was thinking about adding uh, or changing the gearing ratio to the uh, performance gearbox, but I mm, probably is gonna take like 20 minutes for me to actually like nail it down and have it be pretty good. So I will uh, I will wait on that. All right, I can hear it. Ooh, that interior. Oh, I can't see the interior very well. But wow, that uh, the tachometer looks pretty good. What do we have? We got oil, battery, tack, temp, fuel, and then speed above. I do really like this. This is a really, really cool uh, setup for an interior here. All right. Let's see what kind of numbers you can put down. Oh, yeah, these vintage tires. Uh, oh, I, for I always forget about that every time. So when you have a ton of horsepower on, on these cars, you can't just throttle it right away mainly because the uh oh the vintage tires do not like it all right let's see what we can get her up to i mean we're kind of spinning out already in like fourth gear but oh we're hitting that wall oh my gosh Woo! Well, there goes the whole restoration right there. But yeah, got it up to about 145 or 150 there. I couldn't really tell 140. Um, but yeah, I should definitely put some racing tires or some slick tires on this bad bad boy here. Uh, because it is uh, 
It is fast. It is actually way faster than I thought it was going to be. But there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below. Hit that subscribe button if you guys, guys aren't subscribed yet. And I will hopefully see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.